Hello and welcome once again. This is View 3 ZDG Suraj. Today I am going to demonstrate my home route HF for VHF, RF power, and VSWR meter. This is a compact and lightweight meter and is powered by Nokia BL5C batteries. An entire unit is mounted inside PVC junction box. A DC socket is provided to recharge the battery using external power supply, as also an option to power the device using external power supply. An OLED display is accommodated in front panel to display the measured values. TX line input and antenna line output BNC ports are provided on left and right sides of the unit to measure the VHF frequency, RF power and VSWR values. On the back side of the unit, a TX line input and antenna line output BNC connectors are provided dedicated for HF, RF power and VSWR measurement. As you can see, this is a SWR bridge designed for HF and shielded using copper foil to prevent RF radiation to other part of the meter. Two PNC connector ports dedicated to IHF are uh, extended on back side of the meter. One for TX input and other for antenna. Now this one is the VHF micro strip uh, WR bridge designed for VHF and uh, for connectivity. Two BNC connectors are extended on both sides of the forward and reverse DC voltages from both WR bridges are captured and going to ADC inputs of the 80 mega 32A at this point. The unit is powered by two BL5C batteries and uh, which are completely recycled uh, from old mobile phones with a 2S BMS module to generate 7.4 volt and thereby further regulating to 5 volt by 1117 5 volt low power regulator. An external DC socket is also provided to power the device using external power supply as well as to recharge the battery. On the front side we have power on off switch a band switch to change the frequency band from HF or VHF. We also have mode switch to set various RF power measurement mode like peak to peak, DBM and SWR beep mode in which the speaker will produce tone with respect to SWR values. Now powering on the device, uh, we can see the introduction window followed by the power in which uh, the last QRV was and here is the display window of the power and VSWR meter. So on the top we can see the power value in watts. On the bottom side we can check whether the mode is in DBM or uh, PEP and all and below that uh, we can check the forward voltage, reverse voltage and uh, then the VSWR values and also the band in which the measurement is going on so which can be adjusted using the band switch and the mode can be adjusted using the mode switch. Now changing the band to 2 meter we can see that the band 2 meter is showing in the display. Again resetting that to HF, you can see that the band HF is showing in the display. Now adjusting the mode switch from DBM to PEP, you can see that the PEP mode is activated now. And now uh, going to beep mode, here SWR beep mode is activated. The speaker will be producing beeps with respect to the VSWR values. So let's do a quick uh, power measurement of my Bafong radio. I'll be using a dummy load uh, for 5 watt uh, which is a standard uh, dummy load. Now setting my radio to VHF frequency. Connecting my radio to power meter TX input uh, using uh, BNC to BNC connector. Connecting the dummy load to antenna port of the power meter. Now turning on the power meter. It's already set in 2 meter mode, that is VHF mode. Now what uh, transmitting, I am getting 4 watts as output at high power, changing that to low power. I am getting around uh, 2.6 watts in low power. So these are the few components that I used for the construction of this particular meter. And this is the view of the transformer that I used for HF bridge. And uh, I'm trying to measure the inductance of this particular uh, transformer coils and uh, it's around a 43 micro entry. So main purpose is to make sure that both the coils are uh, of uh, equal inductance so that we can get a better uh, readings while measuring uh, forward and reverse voltages. This is a view of the completed HF bridge. And uh, this is a fixed 
permanently on the back panel and this is the snapshot of uh, VHF bridge and this is the view of the actual power meter on a breadboard uh, and connected to an LCD display I have done some modifications in the coding so that I can make it work on an OLED display to make it more compact and lightweight this is a circuit diagram and uh, the entire circuit is wired on a dot board that is common PCB and I have attempted to make it uh, very compact the speakers used are uh, from an old earphone and it is completely recycled and reused the most important part is that the power meter needs to be calibrated with a non-power source in both HF and VHF before considering the actual measurements. I have managed to calibrate same with available power source. I'm looking forward for a high power source to fine tune my calibration settings. Let's have a quick demo on VHF and HF power measurement. I have used S102 power meter as a reference to check whether my power meter is giving correct value or not. Setting my radio in mid power, I am able to get 2.5 volt in both power meter as well as HF power meter. When I change the power mode to high in my radio, I am able to get 4.5 watts in both power meters. So I can assume that my meter is working as I expected. So let's have a quick demo in HF power measurement also. I have used same RS102 power meter as reference to check whether the power meter is giving correct value or not. Setting my radio, at this time I am using micro STX transceiver. That is an HF transceiver and uh, I have set the frequency to 7 MHz. The maximum output of this particular radio is around 2.4 watts uh, with a battery input of 12 volt. So let's check out. So I am getting 2.4, 2.5 watts output reading in both power meters. So we can assume that uh, the meter is working as expected so that's it from my end thanks for watching if you like please subscribe and click on bell icon